Good morning. My presentation is about the Codifico application. Uh, is the team uh, the university, Leonardo Flores, uh, engineer, a school of engineer, Pontificia Universidad Javeriana, Colombia, uh, Vivian Delgadillo, a school of medicine, Pontificia Universidad Javeriana, uh, San Ignacio Hospital, uh, and me, Ariel Cortez, a school of economics and business, Pontificia Universidad Javeriana. Uh, it's very important uh, the uh, in multidisciplinary teams for the, uh, for the use of the app uh, Codifico. Uh, the most important in health uh, primary care and hospital care is the uh, relationship between uh, the patient and physician. Uh, in this relation are essential two aspects. Uh, one aspect, uh, uh, first, is the interpretation in semiology. Semiology is the signs and symptoms. And second, it's uh, the correct and specific recording of diagnosis in the patient's clinical history are essential for providers, uh, insurance, uh, uh, third payers, uh, regulators, uh, health systems, and the other actors in health. Um, uh, since it allows efficiency and quality of care and having adequate data in the information system, uh, uh, for example, the international uh, codification of disease uh, use of the uh, use of the uh, 18 uh, co uh, thousand codes. It's very difficult for the medical doctors or, and physician use of the codification. Um, uh, codifico 2.0 is a mobile application developed under the Android and iOS uh, based on case studies. In the moment, use are uh, the uh, 500 uh, cases. Uh, this is the correct way to interpret uh, signs and symptoms and the coding on diagnosis in patients. The solution is uh, built uh, based on gamification, which allows uh, the physician uh, to learn about semiology and diagnostic code uh, throughout the game. Uh, in, we uh, uh, brought uh, the different uh, articles or papers and interviews uh, for the uh, application Codifico 1.0 in a uh, systematic review of serious games in medical education, quality of evidence, and evidence on pedagogical strategy, and others uh, a systematic review about uh, serious gains for medical education, the role, the effective uh, design, uh, and development and evaluation of a serious gain for teaching uh, international codification version, uh, version 10, uh, diagnosis coding to medical. Very quickly, the video. The video. Uh, Codifico uh, is a waste grade eight in the in the Unity. Yes, in the <laughs> thank you in the Unity program. Uh, um, uh, the sponsors is uh, uh, where uh, the Pontificia Universidad Javeriana and the hospital, uh, San Ignacio Hospital uh, to Bogot in Bogotá, Colombia. Uh, it's made up uh, uh, of uh, three levels uh, 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 and three parts. Uh, uh, is uh, play uh, the gaming and the use of the international codification disease uh, team version uh, on one ranking in the uh, in the serious game. Uh, 
Uh, in the guideline, uh, for the three uh, levels. Uh, one level is the basic, uh, uh, intermediate, and avanced uh, level. In basic level, uh, time is used to answer the questions and component of medical signs and symptoms and the coding, coding uh, with the respective diagnosis. Uh, in this part, uh, in the top, uh, you, uh, the signs, uh, the signs and symptoms, and in the down, the use of the uh, different codes uh, in the international classification disease. Uh, the intermediate level, unlike uh, the basic level, the patient has a name and the sign must be just uh, based on the code. Finally, is the advanced level with the um, the signs and symptoms, uh, the diagnosis code uh, must be determined. Another part is the, uh, the use of the international codification uh, for the different uh, uh, teams, uh, the subgroups. Uh, uh, and finally is the, the ranking for the classification of the, the different people in the uh, game. What are the differentials? It supports uh, the promotion of adequate interpretation of signs and symptoms and diagnosis coding in patient care, which helps uh, to have a, an impact of semiology interpretation and on the health information system in Latin America. For example, in Colombia, the diagnosis main uh, and secondary diagnosis are, are not uh, used in European countries, a patient can have up to uh, 15, uh, 15 uh, diagnoses for an episode. Uh, it can, I can be used uh, by uh, any physician or medical student in the world, uh, depending on the language of the application. Uh, uh, codifico uh, intellect, intellectual property uh, registration in Colombia in the, bef before the National Directorate, uh, Directorate of the Copyright. Uh, and in the moment, the status of development uh, available on Android and iOS. Uh, what are we looking for? I call to the international community to improve uh, development and migrate to other languages, Portuguese, French, and, and other, 
and validation between the hospitals and ambulatory care. Thank you. My email. <clears throat> Uh, any question? Thank you very much. Um, yesterday we had a speech where it was stated out that this playful, um, this very, yeah, this very gamey look of the application wasn't accepted by the professional. And this game looked, in my opinion, um, as made for children. <laughs> in a way, because it's really this playful, colorful, nice comic style. I kind of like it myself. Is it accepted by doctors and medical professional in that way? Mm. Uh, uh, the focus is uh, the students, medical students. Yes? Um, no medical doctors. It's very difficult, the relationship with the medical doctors for the egg group. Yeah? It's very difficult, but it's uh, the uh, students, uh, um, the medicine. No. Is there another question? Um, I have one. Did you evaluate um, the benefit of this application for the student? Uh, yes, in different publications of the different papers, uh, I evaluated the participation of the, uh, the students. And it's a very benefit for the uh, for the uh, the teacher learning the uh, for the students. It's very uh, very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. For your Thanks. Thank talk. you.